Oh, this picture um, that was featured on uh, Kind of Music Crew, the page that Kind of Music used for, you know, showing their crew stuff. And it features Adam Port, Rampa and Ammi. And in the middle there, you see the one and only Solomon. And he looks rough, right? And I'm a big fan of Solomon, right? I'm a big fan of the guy. Um, I think, you know, he is kind of much derided and whatnot. The whole after party meme is fucking hilarious. But I think him as a DJ, him as a producer, incredibly strong. Um, I think what he's done overall for the whole, I, for the whole, I think, GDA landscape in terms of, in, in the popular terms of stuff, not in, you know, underground sense of it, but in terms of educating the consumer into kind of um, being okay with going to see a DJ play for more than four hours. I think obviously, he kind of popularized it because he does kind of you know marathon eight hour sets 10 hour sets and whatnot and i think normie crowds sometimes aren't necessarily super down for it they want to see a lineup full of like you know hard hitting people you know seven different big high profile djs playing one hour sets each bang 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 but you know solomon kind of popularized i feel like that kind of um og berlin sort of style of djing the old kind of new york um loft kind of thing that used to happen in the 70s 80s where a person would play for the entirety of the night and kind of you know um really sort of provide the soundtrack for your night and really kind of take you on a quote-unquote journey and i guess and i would say in my opinion he kind of popularized that for normies but obviously this guy isn't afraid of a cigarette he isn't afraid of a glass of wine um, there's probably a plate of food he's never said no to and he's slowly but surely turning into the Serbian eats everything right <laughs> he really is especially when you can especially when you compare him to the other guys in this group especially Adam Port and Ami who are both I think I think Adam Port is definitely sober because I'm sure he's straight edge but these two guys are usually quite fresh faced they're usually eating fruits and other bits and pieces behind the decks and keeping themselves fed and whatnot and hydrated and Ami's probably the only one that's maybe a party kid and he may Maybe looks more similar to you know Solomon. He actually looks like he could be Solomon's kid here, isn't it? I me, mean, I'm sorry, Ramfa, right? He looks like he could be Solomon's actual child. He's got a nice civilist um, um, knit here, you know, one of the best skate shops out there in Berlin. So big up civilist, but he looks like he could be flipping Solomon's flipping child. But yeah, Solomon looks really haggard. You can see in his fucking fingers, he's got the fucking prince. Um, what you call it prince charles flipping fingers there going on um there's a lot of red wine that's probably you know spiraling throughout his body maybe some champagne he hasn't got the trademark glasses on so you can definitely see the tire of his face and yeah he looks like he's seen some things and like i said um maybe it's not we don't get to a point where we're kind of completely completely sober like how adam port is in terms of you don't do absolutely anything at the most you have is like sparkling water behind the decks because i feel like you know Personally, I feel like that's pun that's a punishment. Going to a party, a rave, with sweaty, drunk, high people, and all you're drinking is fucking San Pellegrino and whatnot, seems like to me like an absolute horrible occasion, horrible time. Why would you do that to yourself? But it also is good that these people exist because it proves that you can have fun nights out without always getting on it, um, which is a good thing. But, uh, you know when you do try to get on it and have some fun you also have to be aware that the end of the road always kind of ends it like this you don't end up looking fresh face when you just you know you pick up flipping you know eight balls every other weekend and you're going and you're doing half the parties all the way until monday before you get to work you're calling in sick all the time like you just can't it just doesn't end well for you um in general but yeah solomon's looking quite haggard um so is peggy goo it looks like for the most part and it seems like um we're now seeing the actual effects of what it is to be a real high high level dj and you know if you're up there and you're trying to search for that kind of stuff maybe it's a it's a sort of a caution word of caution that you know maybe the thing that you're searching for and want isn't necessarily what you actually want because this is what those guys are doing they're playing every weekend at all the best parties and all the best clubs in the world and you know essentially when you give into your vices and you give into the temptation and you just start enjoying yourself it does end this way because he kind of looks like a a dj version of burt kreischer in it that's what it sort of looks like right solomon he's like burt kreischer but in dj form It'd be funny if he does decide one point to just change the way he DJs and just start taking his shirt off behind the booth. It'll probably increase his fucking in the amount of gigs he gets. Maybe he can bump up his fucking fee as well. That's how mad um, the whole DJing world is. But yeah, uh, big up Peggy Goo, big up Solomon. Uh, check out the Peggy Goo and Kylie Jenner track if you want to. So Kylie Jenner, Kylie Minogue track. But um, it's not for me.